start. Hello and welcome to Attract Well Office Hours. I am Coach Ashley. Today we're found by, we are, if I can speak, we are joined by founder Greg Kilwine. Hey, Greg. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Glad you're here. I also have here, and I, I need to promote you to a panelist here. Um, I don't know if it'll let me do that, Katinka. Yes, you're going to be rejoining as a panelist, it looks like. Uh, so perfect. We have a special guest with us today, you guys. Uh, and we are so, so honored to have her here. Uh, we're going to be learning about using Canva uh, and specifically how you can use a Canva, use Canva with your attractable system. Now you've learned a little bit from me, like I think it was last week or the week before I talked about some templates, really roughly speaking, like here's the size of something you need to do stuff on your good oiling site. But today guys, we've brought for you a training that is just so much bigger, so much better. I've seen a little bit of what she's going to be sharing with you today, and it's already blown my mind. So if you want to learn about how to be more organized and get more out of the time that you're putting in and just make things more beautiful and fun, buckle up. You're going to love this. So today we have Katinka with us, who is an Attractful user. Uh, you have, uh, and we've worked together. You have launched a couple of programs on our platform. You're a business coach of 10 years. And, uh, and you, you know your way around this space, right? So um, I would love to give you the opportunity to just kind of introduce yourself, give a little bit about your background, and then uh, I'm going to make sure that you uh, have, um, have the floor to share your screen and, and we'll take it away. Okay, Hi. thank you. Thank you. I'm really honored to be here because I have two obsessions in my life now. One is Canva and making beautiful things and the other one now is attract well i truly adore the system because it can do everything i want for my business and it's all in one place so it's kind of an obsession now as well i just love it and at first when i uh i met the system i thought will it do what i want because the website needs to be converting i totally agree but I want it to be pretty because if it's pretty, then I'm proud to share it. And as a business owner, we have to be visible. We are, if we start as a coach, we are a little, little uh, spark on the internet. No one knows us. So we need to get out of there. And if you have a beautiful website, you do it with so much proud, 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 you say, yes. Uh, so yes, I love the system. I work as a business coach for 10 years. I started out as a food coach and everyone laughed at me because I was um, middle-aged when I started and they said, you are going online and that food website, it went like crazy. And everyone said, how do you do that? Because you did not know anything uh, from the internet and you are in a saturated market. And I said, well, I will explain how I do it. And that's how I became a business coach. And I love that even more. Uh, so yes, that's what I do. And I do everything myself. So from uh, branding, website, funnels, making courses. Uh, and that's why I know how things work. And that's why I need simple systems to save time. So uh, the Canva use together with the Attract Well website, well, that's perfect for time management and well, doing things professionally like they should be done. Yes. Awesome, awesome. So I'm I'm really excited for you to share this stuff with us today. I know that a big a big draw for you when you first started working with us was to really kind of um, eliminate all of the extraneous activities and the things that can suck up all of your time because you yes. really really love things to be passive and easy and fun yes. and beautiful. And I mean, who doesn't want that stack of things? I want that cake in my life. So yes. <laughs> let's um, let's get into it, Katinka. I'm so excited to, to see what you put together. Okay, I will share my screen if that's okay. Um, hold on, we are in my Canva. Oh, now I share my whole screen. That was not what I meant to do. Uh, because now you see a lot of stuff you don't need to see. Let me regroup that. Yes, now it will be okay in a minute. 
and let me know by a thumbs up if it is okay. Hold on. And that's why people laughed at me because I'm really slow with those things. <laughs> Um, we're nearly there. Yes. Now you should see the presentation. Yes. Okie doke. Um, we are going to talk a lot about Canva because I make everything that has to look beautiful for the website or for my social media in Canva. And I'm going to tell you my four key tips and show them in uh, first the theory and then we will uh, show it in Canva itself. So welcome, uh, no more messing up your Canva and creating stunning images for your website. What you will discover today is I'm going to talk about Canva, should you choose the free stuff or the pro version and when it is time or why you should switch to pro, how you can organize yourself because you will make a lot of images and it's a really uh, smart to find them again if you want to reuse them so you should be organized we are going to talk about branding and how a brand kit can help you your website and your social media look consistent and how to use templates and how to change them to match your brand and the result will be a stunning website that you will be proud to show to others. Now, before we start, uh, you are here in the right place. I am not a branding genius, but I love things beautiful. And that's why I know the nitty gritty things about Canva, how to make things consistent. And the word consistent, I will use throughout this uh, presentation because if you are consistent, people uh, start to notice the posts are yours and that will stop the scroll or will have them get to know you better. So my name is Katinka. I'm, uh, I live in Belgium, a small country in Europe. So if I have an accent in English, please forgive me, especially when I get enthusiastic, um, I lose the thinking of words. So today is about Canva. And I think Canva is more than just making things pretty. It's making things professional and consistent. There it is again. So you need to design. And you can reach that. You can make your images really look, look and feel consistent and save time. Now, the first key is to choose whether you go for the free plan or for the pay plan, uh, the Canva Pro. Now I took a print screen of my Canva in Dutch. You do not have to read this. Of course, the free plan is zero uh, dollar or euro and the pay plan um, in our country, it is hundred euros. So that will be around $8 for you, I think. Now, why should you choose the Pro or not? Let me discuss the things and my excuses. It is in Dutch, uh, but I will translate it. I have put some hearts at the things I think I really need for my business. And I put some smileys on the things I just like. What do I like? I like that the pro version has a lot more pictures to choose from. Is that necessary? No. Do I like it? Yes. And that's the same with videos. Videos and templates, you've got a lot more in the pro version, less in the free version. But what I really do need um, from the pro version is first of all, removing the background. Removing the background is something I really use daily. And that is because daily I use pictures of myself. And it seems really weird in the beginning of your business that you use pictures of yourself, but people need to learn to know you. And if you never show yourself, they don't get to know you. If they don't get to know you, they can never learn to like you. And if they don't like you, they will never trust you. And you want people to trust you because people buy from people they trust. So show your face. 
But if I take pictures here, you see my background or the television or whatever, and that's not a pretty thing. And as I started here my uh, presentation, you see here a picture of me in front of my TV, but because I uh, removed the background, I can really use that or like this in a branding pretty kind of way. So removing the background is something that I really need. The other thing I often use is the magic resize, just because it saves time. For instance, if you make um, <clears throat> an Instagram post, you can easily magically resize it to a Facebook post. You can magically resize it to an uh, Instagram story. So with one click, you have your Instagram post and you have your Instagram um, stories. And you can change that up to your banner for your website so that everything looks alike. And then the other thing I truly use is the brand kit because I want everything to be in my colors. That makes the, the brand strong and uh, people stop the scroll if they see my colors and my kind of images and elements because they know it is mine. And that's what I want for you as well. And then there's another thing that not many people use in the pro uh, or know that it's in the pro version, unlimited folders. You can organize in folders. And that's also one of the big reasons or the main differences why I chose for the pro version. Because if you have hundreds of images, how are you going to find them again? For instance, I have a folder website, my Attract website, Attract Well website, all the images that I use for that website go into that folder. And you can then even uh, make subfolders for your sales pages or your landing pages or um, whatever you uh, make as pages, you keep everything really organized. So that are the things that made me choose for the pro version. And I always say, how much is your time worth? This is um, a secretary that is worth her money, the Canva Pro, in my opinion. So how can you organize? You can use one folder in the free version, but if you see, if, if I should take you to my Canva now and you see all my designs, you get a head that goes with fire out of your head because it's too much. You will never find anything in there. Um, so I need to keep it in folders. And I do not have that many folders. That makes it very structured. Uh, I have, for instance, my course, the Blooming Business course is a folder. And in there, I have subfolders. The website is a folder and I have subfolders. My customers, things I make for my customers or my clients, I have subfolders. Now, it is important that you make folders that make sense to you. The good thing is that whenever you open your Canva, you have a search bar and you can search Instagram template, link it in banner, but you can also search inside your folders. And that makes it really easy to find things inside your folders. Now, name it in a good way. Think about it. At least that's what I do. If I have my Blooming Business course as an example, I have nine lessons into that. I call the lessons BB1, BB2, BB3, BB4, and so on. If I name them by the heart, I would do it the wrong way. Then I would say branding lessons. Yes, that's lesson one. And then I would say slides module two. And then what was it, whatever was module two and I would not find it again. So make sure you think about the structure of your folders so you have an easy um, way of finding everything again. I would like to know, and you can put it in the chat if anyone is ever, um, or you can mail me. I'm always curious, do you use folders already? 
And then you can create your Canva brand kit. Now, what is a brand kit and what goes into it? There are six elements that go into a branding and we will talk about four of them today because four of them you make with Canva. The first two are something I also think belongs into branding. And that is, first of all, you. Because you are your business. You bring you to the table. If you have one burnout coach and another burnout coach, what makes you special? Why should people follow you? What is your brand character? And take that with you in your branding. And how do you do that? Because people say, yeah, how do I know what is my brand character? I always uh, give a list of um, 100 character uh, types or char characteristics, and you choose three of them. Of course, you are more than three characteristics, but choose three that you think, oh, yes, that's me and that you feel it in your heart and in your belly. An example is, I'm very enthusiastic. I can go really crazy about things and, and um, I chose that as one of my brand characters. So if I am enthusiastic on my website and I always smile or I do things like that, way, yeah, then, People know, they recognize, yes, that's the website page of Katinka. And that's what you want. Big brands have, a, so, have it so difficult, like Coca-Cola has it more difficult with the marketing than us. Because they try to be personal, but they are so big, it's so difficult to be personal. We, on the other hand, we have it easy because we are our brand. So be consistent and think about that as well. And then the brand story is how you became that burnout coach and why your customers, um, why do you love them so much? And that's more or less the tango between you and them and what you have in common and why you love them so much. So those two things also come together and you can represent that in uh, images. Like I said, if you have pictures that always do like, hey, that's a different um, portray than a serious photo. Also the colors, I chose those colors that you see and you can absolutely see I only attract women. I have some die hard men that can see through it, but mostly women. I, that's who I love to help in my brand story. And that's portrayed with the girly pictures, images, and colors. So think about one and two before you start creating uh, logo, colors, fonts, and images. Okay, logo. How do you do that? Well, I take the easy route. Um, I open my Canva. I ask them for an Instagram template that is a square one. Uh, and I use a template. I ask the templates for free logos. These are two free templates and I change them. I change the colors and I change the image inside and it makes it totally different. If you want, I can show in Canva how I do that uh, in a minute. Then you need to choose colors. And I think that's a difficult one to choose because where do you start? I love yellow, I love light blue, I love, I love purple, I can love a lot of colors, but what goes together? How I do that is two ways. You uh, can use, this is my template, just to show. You can use Canva itself because Canva has in the black menu styles. And then with styles, you can see all or just the, the palettes. And it shows some beautiful palettes. This one I like a lot. I like all those I see. But you can also use the method I do, and I will show you. And that is looking for a beautiful picture. And how 
Do I look for a beautiful picture? I Google it. I Google, uh, for instance, Pinterest color palette green or Pinterest color palette blue or purple or pink or whatever. And then you get a lot of pictures. Now, take care because everything you find on Google is copyrighted. So you are not allowed to use the pictures you see. But what you can do is you can use that picture to extract the colors you see. So I found a picture that I liked with this flower. It got, has got pink, uh, which represents feminine. It, it's got the yellow, which represents enthusiastic. So that suits my brand. And then I go to Canva, and this is a special link um, in Canva, canva.com, colors, and then color palette generator. So you upload your picture and it extracts the colors and shows you the hex code. I suggest you note down the hex code in your uh, agenda or in a notebook. But if you have the pro version, you can put that into a brand kit you can use every time. Now, I got these colors and I like them, but I thought the yellow was too heavy. I wanted the same color, but a little lighter. And then I go to another website, also a free website, that I use very often, and it's called coolers, not colors, but coolers.com. And that's a, a generator. And what it does, it generates a scheme, but I don't uh, look at that. It, what I do is I fill in the hex code here. And then you've got a little icon here that says view shades. And if you click on that, it gives you all the shades of that color. And that is especially what I like, because if you make your website and you always use the, the heavy full colors, it might become heavy. And you want your website to be light and airy because that's more readable. So you can uh, see that if you have uh, your living room, and you have very heavy statement furniture, and you have a lot of that, then the room becomes too heavy. You need white walls. That's the same with the website. If you have some statements and bold pictures, you have to air it with a lot of yeah, air and whites, but also light colors. So for instance, if I use this pink color, I would also note down the lightest pink for backgrounds, the darkest pink for text, and a few in between. That I can always mix and match, and I know that every shade will be in my branding or will suit my branding. Okay, that's a way to choose your colors. And then we come to fonts and fonts, I think uh, Attract Well makes it very easy for us because um, I used to think it was difficult which font goes with which, which fonts do I use because Google does not like every font. Um, so I only use the fonts that are available in, get, in Attract Well. That makes it easy for you. The ones I use are for title Meriwether. And for capital letters and normal letters, the same. I use Conforta, which is a round, uh, a round font. And then I also choose a frivolous font, something curly, something feminine, because that suits my brand as well. Now I chose Cavite, but I also have a frivolous font that is not available in Attract Well, which to me means Google does not like that much, but I want to use that. What do I do then? I make an image with my frivolous font on it. And I upload that into the Attract Well. And in that way, I can have my frivolous way of saying, but it is an image I use. 
And you can search in Canva. They have, if you use styles again, there where you found the colors, you can also find the fonts that they think that are pretty together. What I would suggest though, is you would, I would always follow the attract well. Uh, it is very uh, smart if you choose a font in Attract Well to choose the same font in Canva. So I would first choose there and then see um, and use it in Canva. Because if you would, for instance, keys, uh, ch choose a homemade apple as a font and it does not exist in your Attract Well site, you are not consistent. So go to Attract Well, those people know which, which fonts are good, choose, choose out of those options. Okay, so then I have my colors, then I have my fonts. Now it is uh, the fun part, and that is choosing elements and images that go with it. So, you know, I chose the yellow, the blue, and the pink color, and some neutrals around it. Then I go searching in Canva for elements that I can repeatedly use. Why repeatedly? Easy, I do not have to think much, but I am recognizable. People uh, learn that, oh, this is Katinka, yes. And the more they recognize you, the more they will trust you. And that is what we want. So I um, have feathers, I'm fond of feathers and everything, uh, crystals and shells and sea things. Um, so I took some time to look through the elements and make them into my colors. And I throw them over everything. And then from every color, I am going to look up images, even images that do not directly uh, represent business coaching. Hey, I'm a business coach. What does macaroons have to do with business coaching? Nothing, but they represent me because I love sweets, I love flowers. So it goes for me, that is totally okay because the more uh, people get to know me, the better it is for my business. And I do that with every color. I search for images in that color and use them repeatedly. And if you do that, you can see, I have used these pictures I showed you uh, and it makes it immediately cohesive, coming together, beautiful. I hope you agree. <laughs> okay, so what have we seen uh, so far? We have seen um, that you need a brand characteristics, your story, your logo, your colors, your font, and your images. And of course, this all applies to everything on your website as well. Now, one thing that makes it really go fast is the use of templates. You do not need to start from scratch. You can, but it's not necessary because Canva templates make everything go so much easier and faster. And you have three options. You have Canva free templates, you have Canva pro templates, and you can buy templates from uh, entrepreneurs that truly understand design and make creative templates. It is something, as I said, Canva is a bit of an obsession for me that I make for my uh, people. I make templates because I just love making them. And here you see that I made them in a, a, a green blue palette, but you can easily change, change it to a neutral palette or a pink palette or bright colors or whatever you like. Templates save you frustration, time, and above all, they also look professional. If you get templates, what do you do with them? You change the colors, you change the fonts, you throw in some elements that belong to you, and 
you put, don't forget to put your website on it or your Instagram handle or whatever. Of course, if you make uh, something for your website, you do not need to put the link on it, of course. So what we did so far is we saw what is the difference between free and pro and why I chose the pro and perhaps you will too. That it is smart. My excuses, <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> that's the other one, <laughs> the small one. How to organize in Canva, we saw it was smart that the pro version has the ability to give you more folders. Then we saw how you can choose your brand kit so you will always use it consistently. And we also choose uh, uh, or saw that it is smart to work with templates. And as I said, everything applies to the Attract Well website as well. Now I'm an, uh, sim I have a simple mind <laughs> and I do not make it complicated. Um, I use three um, sizes for my website. I've never used another size, I think. The first size is uh, the header, the banners I use. I just use LinkedIn banner. And then it is 2000 big, 600 deep, and sometimes I resize it to 1000, then it's a bit bigger. For most of the images, I always choose the square option, and then I use Instagram posts in Canva, uh, which is a square. And if ever I want uh, a more, uh, more wider image, I use uh, the Facebook post, which is just a bit wider. And that's all I use. And if you, for instance, choose the Instagram option, you can uh, look for templates that are a carousel. And I especially like that because then your three posts or four posts that you put together in your Attractwell website, they really a flow from one into the other. And that is especially what I use on my homepage is uh, I want to show people the flow I take them through. And the flow with me is they first can um, get something for free and then they can follow a webinar and then they can buy my course. But it really is, I take you from E to Z, from where you are now to the result you want, and they can see it in the flow, but they also can see it visually because your carousel flows from one, one image into the other. And do not worry, I will show you in Canva how easy it is done. And then if you put the LinkedIn banner beneath it, some titles between, it really comes together. So it is time for action. I will take you into my Canva and we are in Canva. I just need to uh, make my screen a little bigger. Yes, all done. Yes, like this. Yep, okie doke. And we will go to the home. Here, the home. And then you will see that I have a lot of things going on in my Canva. So I really get crazy myself if I see how many things I make. But the thing is, I have everything organized in folders. And if you take a look at my folders, you do not have to make, you have to make your own, not mine, of course. I have the Blooming Business course, with, which has subfolders. I have my website, the Attract Well website with the folders. I have things I make for my customers. I also have an oil business, so I have an oil thing. I have made templates. I organize every image I love and every element I love here. All the eBooks I make. And here is Katinka's marketing. These are my social media posts. So I have everything organized. Now, let us uh, make something. 
as I said, you can search here. And if I uh, open the search bar, you can see I can search the templates like Instagram uh, post or LinkedIn banner, but you can also search in your projects. And so this way you can find very easily a lost, uh, a lost ebook you made. But let's make a banner. Let's start with the banner. You all need uh, a header on your website, of course. So the LinkedIn banner, here we have it. Okay. I take the first one, but I'm not going to uh, use this template. I'm going to make a new page and delete this one. So now I have my banner. The first thing I do is um, color it. So uh, this is my brand kit. And you see, if you have the pro version, you have your kits, your brand kits here available. This is my mostly used own brand kit. This is the one I use for making templates. This is of my customers, a few, uh, but this is the one I use. So this will be the first background. This can be a second. Um, Another one can be in blue. And you see, that's my, my color scheme. Now, what I do is, and that do not many people do, that is make a background out of it. Because if you use a plain color, it stays a bit plain. And I want it to be different because if somebody uses these colors as well, we have the same website. And I don't want that. So I want to use the background option. And that's here in the, the black left menu, background. And then I go and choose patterns. Patterns, see all. And then you can choose what, whatever you want. Let's try one. Uh, let's try this one. And that's a striped one. I don't like that. Let's use another one. Um, this, yes, I like, yeah. Um, I have to put it in pink, yes. And perhaps I will make it a little bit more transparent like this. And now it seems I have a kilted background. So I would like this. Let's choose another one. Patterns. This one. I like this one as well. Although you might say, oh no, but let's put that in my color and let's put that in a little bit more transparent or a lot like this. I like it this way. Let's choose another one. And then you will, you will see the one I use most. Let me see. This one I use myself the most because I like bubbles. And I also download these to use in my attract well as backgrounds. Now, if I want uh, the banner with my picture on, of course, I put my picture on it. Let's choose one of my pictures, uh, for instance, this one. And you see, this is very ugly this way because you see my living room and I don't want that. So that's why the pro version with edit image makes sure you can uh, remove the background. And then it will look very pretty. If you have patience. And a lot of patience. <laughs> there I am. And I make myself a little bit bigger like that. Yes, this is what I like. And then, of course, you put some text on your banner and I use, I prefer to use the same uh, fonts I use, I chose for my website. I use them in Canva as well. So here I change the font to Comforta. And I would perhaps say from, from like this. And then I would say from passion, from passion to profit, I want uh, to say it, but this one I will uh, perhaps do in the cavit. And I will put that a little bit 
like this. And then copy this too. And then I copy this. For instance, it's just an example. You can do whatever you like, of course. Um, and something I do as well is uh, to have a little bit more my other brand colors inside it. I'm going to put it like this again and like this from fashion to profits. Like this. Yeah. I will put a rectangle. So R makes a rectangle, the letter R. Um, and then I will go like this from passion. I make this for instance in yellow. I copy this and do profits. Position a little bit backwards and blue. And it's finished. My banner is finished. So I hope you have a little bit of ideas from this, but let's make uh, our carousel post as well. And as I said, I only use uh, three things. So the Instagram post I use for that. Instagram post, yes. Let's start from a blank. And let's go to our templates here and search for carousel. And here we've got one of my favorite carousels, and that is this one. And I will only use three of them on my homepage. So I will use the first one, the second one, and the third one. Now, I want to immediately change that to my own font colors. So I go to the brown. Here, I click here. I click on the pink. And um, I can change that. I can change this into blue if I want. I can change this into yellow. And um, this way it looks a lot better immediately. And of course, I want to change the image as well. I go to uploads and what I have done myself, I have uploaded the backgrounds I make. And we saw that I love the bubbles. So I make the bubbles here and then I can put an element on it or uh, a picture of me. Um, let me take a picture of me, for instance, or a picture of my product, uh, which is a good idea as well. Uh, but for instance, if I would choose this, let me lock this and then flip this. Voila, this could be uh, a really good first post. And then you do the same, of course, with this one. You um, perhaps you want to do this and this and put some elements on it or your product. Something I always use for uh, showing my products is with elements and go to the frames. And uh, with the frames, I use uh, the phone often. So I would you put this here, for instance, and then take a print screen of my product or a print screen of my sales page and upload it and then show it. Do I have something like an ebook? Mm, yes. Poo, poo, poo. Yes, this is a book like that. And then I can show it like this. And then you have uh, a pretty thing that goes together. So that is um, the carousel. I think those two things uh, you use the most in your attract well, the headers and the pictures that you need that are square. So if there are any questions or if I was too fast in showing you things, um, you can always email me um, or if you see something on my website that you say, oh, uh, Katinka, I would love for you to show how you did that. I will make a, a, a small tutorial or a small video about that. Uh, no problem. 
I think I sh showed everything to you. So we are finished. Oh, but I have a little surprise for you. I made five templates that you can use for your website or for your social media or whatever. And they are in English. And I accompanied it with a tutorial for how you can use them and how you can change them. So it is a little bit of a, a replay of how I did change things now, but especially for those templates. And I even show you how you can make uh, immediately 15 out of those five. So you will be uh, helped very easily and in a fast way. Uh, let me check the chat if you if there are any questions. Um, I don't see any. I see a thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you as well. And let me know if you uh, love the templates. And uh, then I will send you a little surprise also. And this is the link you can ask them. My website is in Dutch, but this page I made especially for you. Uh, I will put it in the chat so you can, uh, oh, they were already there. <laughs> Greg, thank you. Um, so if there are any questions, I am available for showing you things in Canva. As I say, I am obsessed with it. So I um, am always making lovely things. And if not, I want to thank you for being here. I hope it was useful for you. And Ashley, do you need to add something or ask something? Um, you know, I feel like I could just sit here and watch you do this for many, many hours. Every time I see you talk about Canva, I learned something that I had no idea existed before. Did, I had no idea there were keyboard shortcuts in Canva. I thought it was just the basic command C, copy something, paste something. I know that stuff. I thought I was pretty good at this. You just blew my mind. You can make a rectangle by hitting function and R and it comes yeah. out in your colors. You don't yeah. even have to stop and go to your elements. It's just, that's so cool. And I feel like, you know, 258 other things just like that that you just do and so you're really fast with this and it's just oh my goodness this is so good you guys yeah. wow <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so so cool so um let me see look forward to learning more jennifer said you're doing a beautiful job I already learned tricks yes uh and there is a video that's pre-recorded uh where you show how you can use those templates that you've made yeah. i've always yeah. actually been curious how you went about because you always have like three images on your website that are absolutely gorgeous uh and and they they flow so perfectly together i was like how does she get those to align you used a template. I had no idea. <laughs> it's a cheat code. You're full of cheat codes and it's the most amazing yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh and so I cool. have indeed 258 more. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we, we have, hope we hope you will come back and share them. more of them with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So if anybody is here who has questions, feel free to ask. If you're watching this as a replay, uh, put your questions in the uh, comments below the YouTube video. We will link uh, below our YouTube video as well, uh, this freebie uh, that Katinka has put together for you. So you can start getting more out of your Canva, more out of your time, making your attract well site beautiful. And, uh, and guys, just quick tip here, all of the stuff that you make you can resize and repurpose into other things. If you really love how that one picture turned out and you want to use it for your Instagram post, you've already done the work. It's so Ooh. cool. <laughs> she does this stuff all the time. Yeah, oh, absolutely. amazing. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, then it feels for people, they come home. I think uh, my website is my home. I invite people into my home. And if it looks the same as it is on the social media, people come home with you. And that's the feeling you want to give them. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is the goal of branding. That's, that's to, to get an emotional response. People know yeah. that it's you and they want to take action because they trust, they feel comfortable. And you do such an amazing job with that on your website. It just, it, it exudes you and all of your amazing energy. So we're, we're so grateful to have you with us and I look forward to having you back again. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. 
Okay. Yeah, thanks for joining. Bye. Yes. Bye. 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 All right, you guys, we'll be back same time next week. Uh, if you have requests for topics that you'd like for us to cover, if you'd like for us to work with you on things that you're doing in your business, let us know. We're at, uh, what is it, support at attractwell.com or contact at attractwell.com. Both of those things work. Uh, and uh, and we'd love to chat with you. Uh, if you want to work together, you could go to attractwell.com forward slash work review, and that will uh, set you up with dedicated time on a future call like this, where we can actually dig in and work on your strategy, your website, or maybe even some of your design uh, using some of Katinka secrets here uh, on an upcoming call. So uh, we'll see you then, you guys. Have a great week, a great weekend. Talk soon.